Namaste, I am Acharya Pratishtha. Some time back, I shared a video with all of you about five such morning habits that can really change your life. And I'm really, really glad to receive such an amazing feedback from so many of our viewers. Acharya Ji, these five habits have really changed our life. And then I also received a question, Acharya Ji, please share some evening habits before going to bed that can really help us in staying healthy physically and mentally. Now I will be sharing these five very easy evening habits which really can change your life. Now we need to understand that we really want to live a healthy and happy life but we are not ready to change few very simple day-to-day -day habits especially morning is a time when our paper is absolutely blank and whatever we write on it that stays for the whole day same way paper means our mind same way before going to bed is the time when for around eight hours seven to eight hours your mind will be going to a state where your subconscious mind will be working and your body will be sleeping and maximum healings are going to happen during that time now during that time whatever you put in your mind is going to stay there for eight more hours and that's going to work in your healings but what if you put stress in your mind you put competition in your mind, you put negativity in your mind and you put all that you have received from the entire day, whether it was scolding from your boss, whether it was fight with your spouse, whether it was insecurities towards your children or whatsoever. You are going to take all that in your mind before going to bed and then is it going to heal you or is it going to create more trouble? Definitely it's going to make, it's going to bring more trouble. So we need to understand how do we stop this trouble? How are we going to uh, make our body more healthy during the time of sleep? Sleep is a philosophy in itself and I will maybe sharing a separate video on this very soon. But for right now, five very simple habits. Of course, you need to fix your sleeping time if you want to stay healthy. Uh, I'm very surprised when uh, a lot of youngsters tell me, Ah, oh, Charaji, you wake up at 4, that's the time we go to bed. So we should understand that the right time to sleep is from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now, there must be a question in your mind, why this is the best time? Why we cannot sleep on some another time? So I will uh, definitely answer you this question, but not in this video. I will make a separate video for that in our Indian culture episode, which is released every Friday. What is the science behind this 10 um, p.m. to 6 a.m. time? But right now, let's quickly have a look at five such habits which can change your life if you adapt them in your everyday life before going to bed. First, we uh, need to stop taking tea or coffee at least before three hours of our sleeping time. So let's say if you're sleeping at 10 or 10.30 because one should sleep by 10 or 10.30 maximum. So if you're sleeping at 10, make sure that by 7, not you should not be taking tea or coffee after 7. I would suggest you should not take it after 5. But if you are habitual, I would anyway suggest you should not take it at all, tea or coffee. But if you are habitual of taking tea or coffee, best is you take it at least before three hours of your sleeping time so that you have a sound sleep second thing is make a habit of taking early dinner and light dinner now when i say early dinner right time to have your dinner is between like you start taking your dinner at 6 30 and you finish it by 7 or maximum by 7 30. we should not eat after 7 30. when i say light dinner so there are several online courses being conducted by mokshaitan yoga sanstan by our experts under my guidance under under gurudev's guidance but there is one course that i conduct myself which is rupantran open for all other courses are advanced courses only for advanced practitioners or yoga teachers so this Rupantaran course I was conducted conducting last month and there was one student of mine who asked this question. She said, Acharyaji, many times you say have light dinner. Many people say have light dinner. But what is the right definition of light dinner? Now this is a very important question. So I would just like to answer it here in this video so that you should not be confused between what is light dinner and what is a heavy dinner. 
light dinner means dinner where you are not taking anaj we are not you are not taking any kind of grain or any type, kind of flour so uh, it can be sorted vegetables it can be different kinds of soups and for the anaj dinner the only dinner you can have is khichdi so this is how we bifurcate between heavy and light dinner so light dinner means soup sorted vegetables uh, khichdi these fall in the category of light dinner now third is uh, we need to go screenless at least 1 hour before our sleeping time now this is very very important just imagine if you're going to bed with uh, with violence with uh, stress with tension are you going to uh, will you be able to heal your body uh, during your sleep no so when we watch news before going to bed when we watch any serial and there is some melodrama going on about some conspiracies between house members or maybe uh, you watch some very ac some action movie and um, or maybe you are just scrolling on your mobile phone and looking at what your competitors are doing or what your contemporaries are doing so if you're going to bed with violence with crime news with the, with a the feeling of competition what others are doing oh what am i doing you won't be having a sound sleep and that results into such kind of sleep that there is a little voice and you wake up there is a little noise you wake up there is something happens and you wake up this is not a good sign when you sleep you should be sleeping like a child so make sure that ju just before 1 hour of your sleeping time you really need to go screenless if you really want to ha be happy now you must be thinking that what should we do in that 1 hour you should be doing pranayam you should be doing meditation you should be doing swadhyay you can read some holy text you should you can read some motivating uh, text and you can do yoga nidra before going to bed now how to do yoga nidra i will be sharing the link in my description box fourth and very important is we must take warm milk at least half an hour or one hour before our bed time and best is if you can take haldi milk which is the recipe of haldi milk that will be shared in the description box make sure you make it every night and drink it now uh, there is a protein that that is found only in milk casein protein and uh, what is the work of casein protein casein protein is a protein that helps in repair so when your body is damaged after a tiring day or when you you are stressed your mind is stressed your body is stressed stress uh, okay fine i will not go to the definition of stress uh, that that will be a separate topic so right now here you need to understand that all the damages that has happened during the entire day this haldi milk is going to repair them and this is one of the best ways you can have quick healing during your sleeping time so make sure that you drink haldi milk before going to bed half an hour before or one hour before and link will be shared in the description box and fifth and most important whenever you go to bed last thing you must be doing is introspection just sit quietly uh, concentrate on yourself and try to visualize the chain of incidents has happened till since the time you woke up till now try to look at everything how many times i lost temper how many times i had demands how many times i hurt someone knowingly or unknowingly how many times i was stuck in problems and then you will see oh it was such a small problem i could sol solve it so easily and lot of other things you will be seeing whatever happened in the whole day lot of good things you'll be thinking that time and then have gratitude for this wonderful day oh parmatma i'm so grateful to you for everything you have given me all the good experiences as well as bad experiences so when i say bad experiences generally we think something bad has happened to us but that's just an experience thankful for good experiences you understood that but thankful for bad experiences yes because those experiences gave us an opportunity to become a better person with this feeling of gratitude you should go to bed just like a small child tense free stress free so these five evening habits are definitely going to bring a drastic change in your life do not forget to share with us your experiences when you follow these five habits and do not forget to share this video with your loved ones 
so that we all together can bring some positive change in other people's lives as well. You can write to us, you can stay connected at Adurate Acharya Pratishtaji, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Ku app, and Adurate Pratishta. No, 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 no. Adurate Acharya Pratishtaji, Facebook, Instagram, Ku and Share Chat, and Adurate A Pratishta, Twitter. So there is a little bit of confusion between this. And of course, Bharat Yoga YouTube channel for Hindi videos and Bharat Yoga English YouTube channel for English videos. If you have any question, any query, do not hesitate to write to us. Love, blessings, prayers, good wishes for all of you. Hari Om.